So, um, welcome for those visiting today. We're on this series. Uh, actually, we're, we've been on the series, Where's Jesus, for the last year and a half. And we're going through the whole Bible, and we're saying that every chapter of the Bible foreshadows the person of Jesus. And we're on this Just 10 series. And you know, it's been really encouraging as we post this up on Facebook and YouTube, as it's reaching people outside of our religious context. Amen? I mean, I've been really happy with the results. And this week, I decided that I would write a book. You guys are excited. <laughs> I would write a book on the Ten Commandments. And um, I mean, basically, I wrote half of it, you know, up to the fifth. And we have six sermons already on it. Um, I'm going to make a couple of people work really hard for it. Um, and I believe that, you know, one of the, th the encouraging things that I heard was that people outside an atheistic gay community, um, athe you know, agnostic outside of the church context felt like a lot of things that they wanted to ask was being answered. And that excites me because, you know, I'm all about reaching people outside. Trying to recover my mistake when I was 16 at Brooklyn Tech. And, and um, it's, it's amazing to see how receptive it is. And I believe that it can really disarm the prejudice of Christianity. And, and um, so it's the first writing project, and I believe God's on it. And I would appreciate your prayer. And I want you to like pray for it when you eat. God bless Pastor Sam when he's writing that. <laughs> So it's going to be, you know, it'll be ready, and, and, and you can give it as a gift to people. You buy it and then give them as a gift. No, as an apologetic to our faith, as who, who God the Father really is, and I feel like, you know, God the Father is so mistaken because of our limitations, our narrowness. And I pray that, that God would bless this, and I, I feel like he is. And I'm excited. First 180 book. Okay? Okay. Um, Secondly, you know, for those visiting, we have small groups where we really go into where Jesus is deeper. And I would encourage your friends, ask them about it, and they'll take you. And lastly, we don't collect offering during service. Uh, our members give faithfully, usually online at 180church.tv. And if you want to give, you can give that way. And uh, we'll pray for those three things today. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for this series. We, Father, we want to thank you for the Bible. Gosh. <laughs> we thank you for the word that... that that everything we do in our life is not just based on experience, but we thank you that you've given us the word. Where Martin Luther says, solo scripture, that our ultimate authority and rule comes from the traditions that's been carried on in the past of our fathers of this faith. And we thank you you've given us this wonderful book to base our life on and match up with with a great cloud of witnesses, Lord. So we want to thank you for the word of God. We thank you that the Bible points to Jesus at every chapter. We want to pray that more people outside of our tradition would hear about who the Father really is, who Jesus really is, and come to know who he is. So I pray for this book and I pray for this series that you would bless it, Father, that more people would join the family of God. Secondly, I want to pray for small groups. I want to pray, Father, as people come and watch this on YouTube, that they would be aligned and they would meet who Jesus really is, who the Father really is, and find the love that changes all. And lastly, Lord, we want to thank you for the resources and the jobs you've given us. And as we give back to you, we pray that you bless us more so that we can bless you more and do why we're here, why you put us on this. So, Lord, we thank you for today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you soon.